yes, this is a Lightroom video, but before we jump into Lightroom and I show you what we're doing over there, I wanted to jump into Photoshop first to show you what I'm doing over here. And the reason for that is because some of what I'm doing here will make better sense when we get over to Lightroom. So let me show you exactly what it is I'm talking about. First of all, you should know the difference between a global adjustment or a local adjustment. And just for demonstration, I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So here I have a global adjustment of maybe some color and some exposure stuff. And global simply means that this adjustment is being applied everywhere to the entire photograph, every pixel within this picture. A local adjustment is something a little bit more specific. In other words, it's being done only in a particular place. In this example, I've made an adjustment just to the sky. And if I turn this on and off, you can actually see how just the sky is getting brighter. That's a local adjustment. If we were here inside of Photoshop, you could see that there is an opacity slider right here in the layers panel. And what that does is it allows you to control, in my opinion, opacity is a fancy word for strength. So it allows you to control how strong an adjustment is. So if I turn the global adjustment on and off again, I think that that was a little bit strong, even though it's being applied everywhere. I could go over to the opacity slider. I can open this up and I can start to dial this opacity back and control how, how little or how much of this adjustment is actually being applied or how strong the adjustment is being applied. So opacity is what we're going to show you in Lightroom local and global adjustments is important so that you understand kind of what we're doing. So let's jump over to Lightroom and show you this really awesome tip that I have for you today. So here we are inside of Lightroom and I've got three different examples of this trick that I'm going to show you because in Lightroom there are actually three different local adjustment tools that you can use to make changes to your photograph. So if we head over to the develop module, the three local adjustment tools that we have at our disposal are the graduated filter, the radio filter, and the adjustment brush. And all three of these work very similar to one another, but they're also very uniquely different from one another. Okay. But the trick is if I were to grab, say, the graduated filter and apply an adjustment, and it doesn't really matter what I'm applying or what adjustments I'm applying because that's not what I'm trying to show you today. So I'm going to just make a few adjustments. Don't worry about exactly what it is I'm doing because that's kind of irrelevant. But let's say that I wanted to darken this sky down and I wanted to add a little bit more blue to it, maybe a little bit more contrast and pump up the whites in the clouds. Something, something crazy like this, all right? So let's say that I made that adjustment. If I click this toggle switch, you can see before and after what, what we did there, right? I know that it's screwing up the corners over here. I could always go in after the fact with my eraser tool and I could say, you know what, I don't, I didn't really mean for, for any of this stuff to be affected. So I'm going to just take it out. Okay. But remember the opacity slider that we had inside of Photoshop? Well, you have the ability to lower the opacity of this adjustment too. It's actually really cool. If we look closer, we have this pin right here. This was the graduated filter that was applied. And if I hover over the pin and hold my option key down, you'll notice how it turns from a hand to a left and right arrow. And what that means is if I keep holding down my option key on a Mac or alt key on a PC, what I can do is actually dial this back. So if I click with my mouse and drag to the left, I'm basically dialing back the opacity on this adjustment and saying, you know what, this is how strong it was, but maybe I want to just bring it back uniformly just a little bit because it was kind of strong. If I keep going, I take it all the way back to zero, which means there's no adjustment being applied at all. Or I could say, you know, I want some of this, but I don't want it as strong as I had originally applied it. So this is dialing back the opacity. And it doesn't only work not only for the graduated filter, it also works for the radio filter as well. So if I were to jump over to another image, here I've got this 
oblong kind of oval looking uh, architecture structure. If I grab a radial filter and do the exact same thing, I'm going to just try and match this shape to the shape that's here. So we'll just kind of rotate this and extend it a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, something like that. So what I want to do now is I want to brighten up everything that's that's here in shadow. It's a little bit too dark. So I'm going to go and brighten that. I'm going to maybe lift my exposure, maybe add some contrast, maybe even a little bit of clarity to that. And it's a little blue. So I'm going to pull back my my temperature on it as well. And you can see that looks that looks pretty cool, right? If if we just look at a before and after of what we've done here, that's pretty fun. But if I felt like it was too strong, I could hover over this pin just like we did before. I could hold my option key down and now I can drag to the left and I can dial back that that entire adjustment as a whole. So instead of going over to each one of those these uh, adjustments over here, I can just dial everything back at one time, just just a little bit, uh, and and basically lower that opacity so that it's not so strong. This is awesome. And if we do it one more time on that image that we were in Photoshop, I could do this with the adjustment brush as well. So I could come over to the uh, adjustment brush and I could say, you know, I want to just um, brush in these areas over here and make this a little bit brighter. Okay, that's a little aggressive. So I'm going to back this exposure down, maybe lift my contrast up. Again, it doesn't matter the adjustments that I'm applying. I just want you to get a sense as to how this works. Maybe lift the temperature a little bit. And that's looking pretty good already. But again, if I wanted to dial it back a little bit, I could just hold my Alt or Option key down and I can just drag my mouse down and soften that adjustment all the way. So opacity in Lightroom, it does exist and you should use it because it's awesome. And if you like this video and think that it's awesome, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to this channel if you're new here. And as always, thank you so much for your support. We'll catch you in the next episode.